C'est bon, t'es prêt? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, so in a few words, uh, can you tell us what uh, Gucci Gucci really is about? Gucci Gucci is, you know, really about not letting the labels that you wear define you. You know, people hear it and they're kind of like, oh, that girl has a Louis purse. She, she's a basic bitch, but it's not like that. It's just, you know, Don't let that purse make you who you are. Like, mm. don't wear that purse and be like, oh, I'm better than everyone because I got a $2,000 purse. You know, it's definitely like how you wear it and your attitude when you wear it. And there's definitely those basic bitches out there who let those labels get to their head and then they start fucking everything up because mm. they're acting like a little prissy bitch and we don't fuck with them basic bitches. And how do you feel about designer brands? Designer brands, I mean... Well, you know, honestly, I grew up super broke, so it wasn't something I was ever, you know, interested in or could even afford. My mom never had one, so I never was like, I want to be like my mom and have a Gucci purse. So, you know, they're cool, though. I mean, it depends on what what the the designer brands are doing for the people and, you know, if they're helping people out with all the money they're making, you know, if everything's fair trade, then it's all good, go ahead and make your money, you know, if I can make something and sell it for a whole bunch of money, I would too, so. <laughs> But do you think that if, if fame comes along, you'll still refuse to wear designer brands? Like, do you see yourself going to a, an award ceremony wearing clothes from this thrift, the thrift store? I mean, There's definitely going to be stuff that has to change because I can't, you know, be looking bummy at an awards ceremony, you know. I want to look elegant as well, you know. And I definitely would never buy a nice dress from a thrift store because you never know where them dresses have been through, you know. <laughs> that, that dress could have been a crazy prostitute's dress. You never know. It might look cute on you. Could have looked really bad on that tranny guy that was wearing it before you, you know. So, I mean... No, I'm not, I'm not opposed to wearing any type of clothes, you know, like Gucci Gucci was the hit song that came out and it does have a message that sounds like no one should ever wear these brands, <laughs> which isn't the message behind it. It's just like, you know, make sure your attitude is right when you're, you know, if you do decide to, to wear it and be a bad bitch and not a basic bitch. So, you know, I'd be a bad bitch and rock, you know, whatever, I don't care. Throw it on me. <laughs> And how do you pick your clothes and where do you get your inspiration? For my clothes? Um, I've, well, lately I've been getting boxes of free clothes, which is really nice from like Claw Money and Dime Piece. And like those are, those are the homegirls. Like they all started just like how I started, you know, just making stuff in the basement and then things blow up, you know. So mm. I definitely love wearing their clothes. And it's super cute. I got a Dime Piece shirt on right now. But, um, you know, I definitely am still all up in the thrift stores. I, I go straight to the kids' section. That's where I get all my clothes in the kids' section. It's the best part. And, um, I mean, I get my inspiration just from, like, how I grew up. Like, me and my friend, we'd get, like, $20, you know, instead of going to, like, Forever 21 and getting one shirt. You know, we'd go to, like, Goodwill and, like, cop, like, five shirts and like two pairs of pants you know what I'm saying and it's all about like looking through everything and finding that one thing that you're like oh yeah you know so <laughs> and how did you find your style and how would you define it I found my style basically just being confident in whatever I wear you know I'm not like a person who you know gets oh, that fucking sound <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm definitely a person, like, I'm, I'm a confident person, so it's just, like, whatever I ended up wearing at the time was just what I would wear. And sometimes I would be wearing, like, sweatpants and, like, a loose shirt, and then people would be like, oh, that looks so good. But it's just, like, I didn't put it on to look good. You know, I just put it on, I'm walking around, like, hey, ha, 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 yeah, whatever, I'm at a party with sweatpants on. 
you know, so it's kind of just like how you wear it. It's all about the attitude. Really. Yeah, it's all about the attitude, and I, you know, I accidentally had an attitude my whole life. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel comfortable in the rap industry being a white woman? No. <laughs> I really don't. But it's funny because, you know, I went to the BET Awards and it was like a little, you know, radio. It's like some crazy radio thing. It's like a room full of everybody doing radio interviews and stuff. And, you know, there was uh, no white people there, of course. But I don't know. I don't notice because I'm from Oakland. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not looking. At, I don't see color. You know what I'm saying? So I sit down at this table and this lady is like, God, like, I've been waiting to talk to you. You stick out, like, a sore thumb in here. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I really do, you know? So, I mean, definitely just, like, having the title as the white girl rapper isn't something I want. Like, I'm an artist. Mm. I direct music videos. You know, I edit. I design. I want to do a clothing thing. I want to, you know, do this. I want to start my own record label. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... You know, this is definitely a great first step into what I'm gonna do, but I can't wait till everyone's biting their tongue when they called me a white girl rapper. They're gonna be like, oh shit, we used to call her a white girl rapper. Oh God. And one last question. Uh, you said that you wish to empower women, and how do you plan on doing that? I mean, I feel, I feel like just what I'm doing right now, the first steps of this is just, you know, the white, the white girl rapper thing, whatever. It really is empowering people because I get people messaging me all the time like, you know, you gave me confidence to go to school and like be proud of myself and like, you know, because growing up in the ghetto, me personally and being white was really hard, you know, like that's why I have so much confidence because I was just like, I don't give a fuck. This is who I am and I'm living here and I have no choice. So everyone's going to have to get used to it. Or I'm gonna slap them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's definitely nice to see people, you know, taking that and reading that, and like being confident themselves. You know, and I think I think the more power I get, the more power I can give out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>